Hey everyone, thanks for joining us tonight for our Team Nailed It Girls Night. Um, everyone's just hopping on right now. So it, as tradition, I love seeing everyone's nails. So if you have fabulous nails, do show. Mine are Capitol Hill. They're like the lavender with glitter. Oh, Mandy's got, uh, I know what color that is and I can't think of the name. <laughs> Coral Bay. Yes, thank Jennifer. <laughs> Emily, oh, are those, oh, those look fun. Did you add a heart? I'm unmuting you. Did you do a punch? Did you use a punch thingy? So did. <gasps> Our minds are blown. <laughs> show us, show us again. Is that one of those like scrapbook punchy things? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yep. I need to try Yeah, that. it's not. Okay, now we're all going to get obsessed with those things. <laughs> That's so fun. Thanks for sharing that. That's such a fun way to like, you could do that with your accent nails and just like add a little fun little shape. Like, um, I don't know who it was, but they said for Easter, since they, they didn't offer like Easter nails, you could do like little bunnies and stuff like that, like with a punch. I thought that was a brilliant idea. Anyways, thanks for showing me your nails. We're going to get started because I'm friggin' stoked to hear from Allison. I'm going to brag on you a teeny bit, Allison, okay? I unmuted you, but you guys, she is a force to be reckoned with, okay? Allison just joined in December, and she has already sold um, a cumulatively 7,200 in nails. Um, she has recruited 26 women personally. So her team is exploding. She's already a director rank, and I have a, a feeling she's not stopping there either. Um, she, in her Facebook groups, so she has a color sheet group that, you know, she just started in December when she joined, and there's already a thousand people in that VIP group. Um, and then she has 2,500 likes on her, her business page for her nails. And um, she also was a, or is a LuLaRoe rep and has 39,000 people in that group. So I was like, girl, you know what you're doing. So you need to come and tell us all how it's done. <laughs> how to rock, how to make, how to be fab at Facebook. So I'm just going to turn the time over to you, Allison, and let you take it away. Okay. First off, I'm trying to join from my computer because... <laughs> My computer's like ancient and it wasn't cooperating. So in a couple minutes, it might pop on from my computer and I might switch over. Okay. <laughs> um, but um, basically, you guys, Facebook is like a hot mess. It changes like every day. It's a big pain in the butt. Um, it's constantly combating that Facebook algorithm. So um, everything that I say tonight is not, I'm no Facebook expert. I've just been playing around with it for like almost two years running a couple different businesses on here. I have gone to a few trainings with like Facebook experts. Um, there is a guy that I've listened to a few times. Um, his name's Oliver Luckett. He did all the social media work for Disney and for Usher, the singer for like years. Um, so he knows what he's talking about. And a lot of this stuff has come from him. So um, I guess I'll just get right into it. I just posted this information for my downline the other day. Um, so it's kind of, a lot of it is like experience based, I guess you could say. Um, so yeah, the first thing I would recommend you guys do, there's a really awesome Facebook group called the Socialite Suite. Um, I can link it and team nailed it later. Um, but that's a really good group for you guys just to get tips. Um, the whole group is based on women who are building their businesses around Facebook. Um, so you can get lots of really good tips. And if things are changing in there, you'll likely see uh, posts about it in there. Um, Facebook itself, oop, my computer might be switching over. <laughs> um, <laughs> Facebook itself, I thought this was really interesting. Facebook, people wonder what, the bus what Facebook's business is. And um, we were told Facebook uh, is in the business of relevancy. Hold on, here we go. Join audio conference by computer. Okay. Can I switch, Kelly? Do you see my like second? Let me find your second <laughs> self. <laughs> Before you leave us. Oh, I see you. It's green though. Okay. Like it's just showing a green screen. Is that? 
Will that change? <laughs> I see you on your phone, but like the one that says Lula Real Allison Steed is green. There was a post-it note over it. <laughs> <laughs> my god. Like I would okay, do. let me just log off of this one. Okay. Oh my god, what a mess. I'm sorry. I literally wait. Oh I Okay. There's so much <laughs> Good game. Right. Facebook is in the business of relevancy. Um, they compared it to McDonald's. People said, what kind of business is McDonald's in? And everybody was like, oh, they're in, you know, fast food. They're selling burgers and stuff. And the answer to that is wrong. McDonald's is actually in a real estate business. Think about where you see McDonald's. Like you literally see McDonald's on every freaking possible, most convenient place ever. Like highway corners, that's where McDonald's are. So McDonald's literally picks the best real estate spots, buys that up and plops their business on there. So Facebook can be compared to it as in a business of relevancy. They want to show everybody on Facebook only things that are relevant to them. That's why you will, if you search for something on Amazon, or if you are on a website that's totally unrelated to Facebook and you log on Facebook the next day, you're so likely to see like an ad for something that you may have looked at on a separate website the day before or like the week before. And it's crazy. Facebook knows everything about you. <laughs> they know everything that you like. So you want to make sure that your posts are relevant to your audience. That's the biggest thing to think about. You don't want to post stuff that your audience isn't going to like, and they're not going to comment on, and they're not going to react to, um, because then Facebook thinks that, they're not interested and your information is not relevant to them and it will stop showing them your posts. That's pretty much how all of this kind of ties in together. Um, so first thing, this is kind of scary. Your personal profile should be public <laughs> and mine's not public. <laughs> I haven't, I haven't gotten there yet, but, um, I have heard from Kelly also to add five new Facebook friends every day. And we were like, how do you do this? The first thing that you can do is go through your people you may know list. And if they see that you have 30 mutual friends or even just a few mutual friends, they're less likely to think that you're just some creeper on Facebook who's friending them. <laughs> so um, your, your business, if you're running your business on Facebook and you're trying to recruit people to your team and they don't really know a lot about you, how are they going to know anything aside from going to your Facebook page? So your profile, I mean. So if they go to your profile and it's locked down and all they see is a profile picture and like nothing else because it's private, um, that's like going to a business that's completely barred up and you can't see anything inside. So if you guys don't want to totally make your, your profile public, then start making your posts public at least. Um, at least on my phone when I did it, like the very first post that I did and I, I hit like the little three dots or the privacy thing and I said make public instead of friends only. Now my profile is kind of set to automatically do it that way. So all of my posts now are public unless I make them viewable to friends only or friends of friends. Um, the other thing that you want to do, <laughs> if you're, especially if, even if you don't make your profile public, if you're going to start adding random people, you want to go back through your old pictures. Like I had lots of like college partying albums and stuff and I went through and you don't have to delete them, but there's a spot where you can literally say that they're visible to only you. That way you can still access those pictures. Um, but people that you're friending on Facebook and if you decide to go public, the general public cannot see those pictures and like judge you based on those. <laughs> so, um, go back through if you're going to open up your profile, go back through, make sure you don't have anything political, anything negative, anything that's like highly controversial, stuff like that. You want to avoid those posts altogether. Um, so this all ties into like attraction marketing on your profile. I only post things that are positive. Like even if I want to go off on a rant, and sometimes I used to because I live in a state that I do not like. So I used to go off because I'd be like, these people in this place, like I hate it here. But I can't do that anymore because I have many friends who live here first off. And I don't want people thinking that I'm like prejudiced towards this state or whatever. So um, you just don't want people to see your negativity. Nothing political, nothing um, highly controversial like 
I don't know, abortion is the first thing that's coming to mind. You don't want to post that stuff on your profile. Make it um, just things that are positive and things that you enjoy. Um, humor, um, inspirational quotes are like kind of my go-to. And then sprinkle in pictures of your family, your life, things that you enjoy, things that you're doing on a daily basis, like that you would share with your friends. Post that stuff, but make it public. If it's not super private, if it doesn't need to be private, make the post public. And then when people come to see what you're all about, they'll look at your profile and they'll see some more stuff about you. Um, and then sprinkle in the business blessings. So um, every once in a while, like once every few days or so, I'll post... A, a, something about the business. Usually it has some sort of inspirational quote and like how it's changed my life. Or sometimes I just make it super vague. Like, um, it'll just be a quote and it'll say something like the little hands that go like this, like the little emoji or something like that. Um, just to kind of like stay on top of people's minds, like just let them know that you're still doing this. Do not post color street, color street, color street, color street, color street. That is going to just like turn people off right away. So make sure you are posting about the business, but not like 24-7. Post like a few times a day about stuff about you, things that they can relate to. Again, relevancy. And then uh, sprinkle in the business blessings like every once in a while. Um, I'm like totally out of order here. I didn't mean to go off like that, but that's all right. I was going to cover that stuff anyways. Um, hey, here's a, far as a question, Allison. Someone said, uh, or Tierra said, what about weird humor? Like it may be funny to some, but not to others. <laughs> I don't know <laughs> if it's, if you think it's funny and it's not like inappropriate, like why not? And yeah. it's kind of funny because Kelly went, Kelly said one day, like don't post other people's crap. And I remember watching that. So I definitely keep that in mind <laughs> when I'm posting things, but I'll still post like little funny animal things or like just every once in a while I'll, I'll share somebody else's post that I think is like hilarious. Like if it made me laugh out loud, then I'll share it. But I don't get in the habit of posting that all day long. And I don't post like 17 shared things in a row. Because <laughs> right. That was the point. Yeah. What? I said, yeah, that was the point of my <laughs> video. I was like, don't have your whole feed be everyone else's crap. <laughs> right. Right. Definitely post your own things. But here, okay. like your vibe attracts your tribe. So, you know, if you think it's funny, like other people will probably think it's funny and they'll be attracted to that. You know, mm -hmm. like they'll come, mm -hmm. they'll come yep. to you. For sure. Um, hang on a second. Okay. So that's kind of like, so, okay. Along with that, with recruiting, um, Believe it or not, I, I don't think I've ever reached out to anybody, maybe a couple people in the beginning, like the first week, but everybody else that has joined my team has come to me because of it, because they see the posts, they see how much I enjoy the business and they see how positive and excited I am about it. Um, so you guys don't, I'm not saying like, don't ever reach out to people, but that's not necessarily like the best way you want to make sure that you're showing them like indirectly how much you love this and you don't have to reach out to them. You want to make them come to you. Erin, I think I have 1200 right now. So you're limited to 5,000 Facebook friends. Um, I just started like the adding people and I haven't done exactly five a day. Like some days I'll do 10 and some days I'll uh, forget to add people. So just like whenever you get a chance, if you have a few free minutes and you remember to go in and add people, then that's a good idea. Um, but so I also network, heard your network is your net worth. Mm -hmm. so, like mm -hmm. that's why it's so important. I, a lot of people get caught up in like, Oh my gosh, what, if, what are they going to think of me if I add five friends? Like, that's that's up to them to accept your friend request but like the more people that are watching you the more people are going to join you or buy from you so mm -hmm. it's a numbers game yep for sure um okay there was something else I was going to say, but I forget now. Um, okay. So we'll just go into, um, like pages versus groups, I guess. Oh, wait a second. Doo -doo -doo. Hang on a second. I wrote all this stuff out. Yeah. We'll go to pages versus groups. Um, so you guys, um, you should, you should have a page, a p Facebook page, a business page and a group. They serve two different purposes. Your page is compared to your front door. So if somebody comes up to your front door, what are they going to see? They're going to see very basic information, a business storefront, potentially, not literally, but that's what your page serves as. Um, it's public. 
you, everything that is on your front door, post on your front door, anybody can come up and see it. Anybody can come up and comment on it. Anybody can share it, whatever. Your group is like your living room. You're inviting them into your living room. You're creating more of a community feel in your group. Your college street group has to be closed. Um, you don't want it to be secret because then people can actually, they won't be able to even click a link to it. Um, you want it to be just closed, not public and not secret. Um, so the thing about a page that I use, I use the most, I go live from my page because it's public. People can share that live. I always do a giveaway. Hey, share this for an, to win, um, for a chance to win a free set of nails. I always do that. And the more people that you have share, if, if Kelly goes live and I share it, then my friends who don't know Kelly are going to see it pop through their newsfeed because I shared it. If Kelly goes live and I comment on it and I don't share it because it's on a public page, my friends are going to see, Oh, Allison Steed commented on Kelly France's live sale because it's a public page. That's why I always go live from my page unless there's times when I do go live in my group. But if it's something that I want to try to gain new customers from new um, team members, stuff like that, if I want people in the public to be able to hear about this, I always go live from my page. Um, so the other that. awesome thing. Sorry to interrupt you. <laughs> go ahead. What did you say? I just have a question about that. So um, what's better? Because I used to go live from like my business page um, with my other company. But I noticed that when I went live on my personal wall, I got way more views and way more interaction. So like, what do you, how do you decide whether to do it on your personal wall or your business page? If you have a ton of friends on Facebook, then going live on your personal page is probably better. Like you have 5,000 people nearly on your Facebook uh, profile. So uh, the thing about when you go live on your per personal profile, everybody's going to get a notification that Kelly France went live. So people, not everybody on your page will get a notification because of the algorithms. So Facebook takes a handful of people. Whenever you post anything, whenever you go live, whatever, any post that you're just starting, Facebook takes it, throws it out in the newsfeed in front of a handful of people. Depending on those, how those people react to it within the first few minutes, then that's Facebook determines whether it's relevant to your audience or not. And then it determines whether it's going to show more people. So if you post something, if you start a live sale and you don't get any comments on it for like 10 minutes. Likely you're not, your viewers are probably not going to increase because Facebook doesn't think it's relevant to your audience because nobody's commenting on it. Same thing as if I, I was going to get into this, but we'll, if you post something in your group and nobody comments on it, that post is dead after three hours. You can, after three hours, if nobody comments on it, you might as well delete it and start over. Um, if it's on a page, I've heard it's better to hide the post instead of actually deleting it, but you don't have that option in a group. So if you post, like this has come up with people on my team before, if you post a giveaway or, you know, add five friends for a chance to win this or something in my group and nobody comments on it, you might as well just start over. <laughs> or if you get like one comment on it, maybe start over. Um, post, try posting a different time of day. Try switching up your graphic or your wording or something like that. Um, so basically, the first few minutes, the first three hours technically of a post are critical. And if you don't get a lot of people that like and comment on it, um, then it's going to kind of drive down your algorithm. And we'll get into that a little bit more. Um, so oh, I'm as far as selling on a public live, I, I've done it and I don't do any deals on it. I just was, I was under the impression that we can't do any deals like, yeah, you can't. like free shipping or anything. I don't do that stuff on a public live. I do the exact same prices that are on the website. I'm just talking about like, what if I, cause I, I try to go live once a week and just talk about random stuff and not mm -hmm. deal stuff. So when I do, could I tell them to like share it for a free set of nails? on my personal wall like can I you, think you can people can still I mean you, right? I'm not like the P&P &P queen over here so <laughs> I, I hope <laughs> don't take my word for that I've been doing it yeah um, that's good to not know to say that I can't get in trouble I like I I let I, I mean this is so good to know because then you, you want to get people interacting right away mm -hmm. you know whatever it is mm -hmm. so, anyway I'm sorry I keep bugging I no keep you're okay <laughs> <laughs> um 
I didn't mean to like get into, I have a whole section here on live stuff. That's like totally different from this. Um, okay. But basically your page, I post in my business page less than I post in my group. My whole point of my business page is to drive people to my group. So I'll post like, um, if I, my nails are naked right now, but I just took them off today. But if I do like a nail fee picture, I'll post that on my page. I'll post, um, like I said, my live sales and stuff are from my page. If I do any huge giveaways, like add people, like I did this with LuLaRoe and that's how I grew my group so big. Um, I haven't done it with Color Street yet, but you can do huge, huge giveaways on your Facebook page that have things like, um, you know, who wants to win a, a year's worth of nails or something like that. All you have to do is like, show me some love below, make sure you join my group and share this post or something. Now take this with a grain of salt because people will say that's against the Facebook policies. I asked the Facebook people, I messaged them and asked if it was illegal to do that. And they said, no. So you're going to get people in everywhere. that are going to be like, it's against Facebook policies to ask people to like comment and share. Well, fine. But I've done it like a ton of times. I've never gotten shut down. And I asked them personally if it was illegal and they said, no, they said it was okay. So like I said, take that with a grain of salt. If you want to do that, go for it. <laughs> um, but you can do huge giveaways like that to like drive traffic to your group. You can boost the post. Um, I boosting posts is not necessarily recommended. If you're going to play around with Facebook ads on your page, um, it's recommended to do them from the ad manager. So I've played around with it a little bit. The really good thing with ads is that you can target your audience like really specifically. So I have, I started my page in my group around the same time. There's a thousand people in my group. Most of them are my personal friends and people who have followed me over from LuLaRoe who knew that I was doing Color Street. And then my page started off with like nothing. So I have 2,500 people on my page. And the way that I did that is I ran two ads for $5 a day each. So I was spending $10 a day. And um, I had them out going for, I don't know, three weeks or so. Facebook, when you do an ad, I don't want to get too much into ads because I just kind of dip into them a little bit. <laughs> but when you do an ad, Facebook determines a relevancy score and a cost per click for that ad. So I was able to narrow down my target audience to a, to a group of women in a certain age range that were interested in X, Y, and Z, nail polish, um, cosmetics and so I, I, tar I targeted a few different things and it was a really pretty picture of like day one and day seven of Tokyo lights and Tokyo lights is beautiful so everybody I knew that that picture would draw in attention you want to you want to get a graphic that's going to stop people from scrolling on their phone so that those two ads um they both had the same graphic, but they were targeted differently. One of them was targeted towards nurses, I think, and the other one was targeted towards just women who liked nail polish. <laughs> and they both only cost me like seven or eight cents per page like or something like that. So I was getting like over a hundred likes a day on my business page. I quickly stopped that because I was like, these people are all on my business page, but I know Facebook's kind of steering away from business pages and going more towards groups because they want more of that community feel. So I thought that I was wasting 10 bucks a day to get all these people on my page when I don't even really use my page as much. So like I'll post something and it'll say like 300 people were reached and I have 2,500 people on my page. <laughs> So I wouldn't, I wouldn't, if you do ads, like I would try to dr make it so that you use the shop now button and get them over to your group or something like change the shop now button to your group URL and get the, get it over there. But if you guys want to mess with ads, go to um, facebook.com slash blueprint. And there's really good training on that website about ads. Um, other than that, it's really just trial and error. Your first few ads that you do will likely bomb. <laughs> um, it's just, I would only put like a small budget towards them if you start messing around with them. And then once you get the hang of it, um, yes, it is best to have a page and, um, and a group. Hold on a second. I have uh, a little tip too. If you yeah. do one, one reason, um, in my previous company that we would do ads was not necessarily to get like our page to have more likes, but once we got a like, we would message them and like connect with them. So you could message, let's say you're getting a hundred a day, like you were saying, you could message each one of them 
um, or hire an assistant to message them and ask and have them request a sample, you know? So like, that's a way to like connect with them. Anyway, just a random thought. Mm -hmm. Um, there's also things out there called, um, messenger bots that I've been messing around with too. One of them is called many chat. Um, that's the one that I've been messing around with on my page. I literally have just gotten like the bare bones, like first step set up, but you can set it up. So it's like, it's like an auto response thing. You can set it up. So they'll say like, it'll say, start here. What can I help you with? And I'll give them three options. Like want to host a nail bar, want to request a sample. And, um, um, would you like more information on joining? They click one of those based on their response. It gives them a couple different options Then they click one of those and then it gives them a few different options. Like basically you set up this like flow chart of responses. That's it's awesome. very involved. Um, there's a course on that too. It's course.manychat.com. I believe um, it's 10 hours for the course. I got through about four to six hours of it and then set up the first part. <laughs> and then I haven't done it in a couple weeks. Um, Stacy's saying they put a hold on it at least. Put today. a hold on what? I don't know. I'm guessing the chat, the messenger box. I don't know. What? Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah they put yeah. a hold on it today. I tried to do, I tried to sign up today and it said Facebook has put a hold on the chat bot for three days. So huh. it might be interesting. It might be in. So, yeah, I did it like two weeks yeah. ago. So I haven't messed yeah, with it. I anymore. just tried it today. So huh. okay. Yeah, we have done business page, VIP group, and personal, um, Kelly, yes. So, um, yeah, so your page is basically there to drive traffic to your group. Your group is more of a community feel. That's where you're going to do your giveaways. You're going to post um, a lot of stuff about, you know, personal. So we'll get into group posts. It's best to post in your group, what I've heard. I don't even follow this, but this is what I know is the best. <laughs> Three to five times per day. Um, I'm lucky if I post once or twice in my group a day, but I need to get bitter about it. Um, so your post, you want to remember the three P's for your posts. They should be 40% personal, 40% purposeful, and 20% promotional. So personal, purposeful, promotional. Personal posts, what you made for dinner, uh, what you and your kid are doing that, that minute, what, um, what your family, like what your family's up to, stuff like that, personal things, your pets, um, things that you like. Um, I posted something in my group about couponing today. I was like, who likes to coupon here? I need some tips, stuff like that. Things about you, basically. 40% of your posts should be about you. And it's better if you have your face in those posts so people start recognizing your face and that's why they're in your group. 40% um, purposeful. So, those are things like a video on how to apply the nails, uh, nail fee pictures showing, you know, different options of different um, sets to pair together that look nice. Um, just little tips and tricks, things like that. I got to hurry up because I said we only have 10 minutes. <laughs> and then 20% um, promotional. So those are your sale posts. So if you have a mystery hostess sale going on, you want to post about your mystery hostess sale only after you've posted like three posts that are non-sale posts, <laughs> like, you know, nail fee posts or things about your day or stuff like that. Basically your group, you need to build a community so that they want to come back to your group. Um, they know that they're in there. They interact with each other. That's what Facebook is all about. So, um, okay. I'm going to try to fly through this. <laughs> uh, live video, as far as Facebook posts, live video gets the most, um, it's highest on the, like, what, what's the word I'm looking for? Facebook is going to show live video before they show anything else. So live video then um, previously recorded video, or there's actually apps that you can use to make uh, your photos into a video. Like if you guys see like a, a plain graphic with like a little play button on it, um, that's because P Facebook, the people that posted it know that Facebook's gonna show it more than just a straight graphic because it's a video. Um, also, you want quality posts over quantity. If you post in your group all day long, just, you know, 
picture after picture after picture and nobody's commenting on it. Facebook is lowering your relevancy score more and more and you're just killing your algorithm. So if you post, that's why I say I only post once a day half the time because I know it's best to post three to five times a day, but I have a hard time like coming up with three to five creative posts a lot of times during the day. We're all busy. So if you're going to post, post, if you rather than posting 10 random things, like just random graphics that you pulled from a graphics group that everybody else has posted, post one meaningful thing that people are gonna comment on, um, that they're gonna like and stuff like that. Um, when you're posting for giveaways and stuff especially, avoid these words. <laughs> Don't use the words free, giveaway, win, comment, like, or share. Those Facebook sees those as baiting words. So if you're gonna post a giveaway, don't say who wants to win a free set of nail strips today. Comment below and I'll choose a winner. Don't say that because you're probably gonna notice that you're not gonna get very many comments on it because Facebook is gonna say, oh, she's baiting people to comment and win a giveaway. So I word my giveaways like this, just for example. I'll say uh, full set of nails up for grabs, who wants them? And just put like the point below something like that. Also, this is like totally not this. This is just me noticing this. I have had a lot of really good luck with posts that don't have a graphic. So I'll oftentimes just post something like what I just said on one of those color boxes and I'll get the most, most comments out of anything. If I post in my LuLaRoe group, I'll get 2000 comments on a giveaway like that. And if I post a graphic, I'll get 200, 300. It's so weird. I don't know why. And I asked the Facebook gurus about this and they were like, that's weird. If it's working for you, just do it. <laughs> so, but a lot of people notice that that works. Uh, best times of the day to post I've heard are early morning, super early morning, lunchtime and evening. Because when are people scrolling their phone? I wake up in the morning and I scroll my phone. I don't know about you guys. Lunchtime, people are on their lunch break. They're scrolling their phone. Evening time when people are winding down, they're scrolling their phone. So that's again, don't, just take everything I'm saying with a grain of salt, but that's what I've heard. Um, and then the last thing, live. I'm gonna fly through live really fast. If you're doing a live sale or a video or anything, you need to be yourself, but be stepped up like 15 notches in the excitement department. If you start a live video and you're like, hey guys, we're just gonna sit here and wait for some people to join. No, don't do that. <laughs> You say that, that's like saying that the three people who are watching you are not important enough for you to continue. So do not say that. You want to have a strong start. You want to be like, even if you just sound ridiculous, and half the time I do sound ridiculous, you start the live and you're like, oh my gosh, ladies, I'm so excited to be with you tonight. We're going to do a live sale. So who's excited? Where are you guys watching from? Let me just get my nails. Oh, let me grab my phone real fast. We're going to share this into my group as I'm talking to you. Hey. I have a number on a post-it note right here that has a random number between one and 200. What do you think that is? Whoever gets that number first is gonna get a free set of nails. Do that. You're gonna have, cause you know what that's gonna do? Comments. Boop, 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 boop. Facebook is like, oh, this is relevant. And they're gonna pop that in front of way more people. So you need to have a strong start. Just like be yourself. <laughs> like that was me, but I'm not that excited right now. That's just how I start my live sales. So. <laughs> Now we can all cheer each other on. This is going to be so funny. I'm doing a video tomorrow of me curling my hair and I'm going to be so excited. <laughs> yeah. Um, again, I go live from my page and I share it into my group. So what I do is I'm live on my iPad here. I quickly, as I'm talking and half the time I'm like, hold on a second guys, I'm just doing this really quick, but let me know where you're doing from. I'll find my page on here on my phone scroll to my video, click share, copy link, then go to my group and click paste the link into a post and just click paste. And that's all you have to do. Same thing as if you're on your, your profile, you can do the same thing, but you do need a different device to do it. So like I'm always live on my iPad and I share from my phone. Um, la, 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 la. Oh shoot, where am I? Page into group. Um, you want comments quickly in the beginning. Smile. <laughs> that goes along with the excitement. Just smile like ridiculous the whole time. <laughs> um, don't wait for people to join and go live for everything. Go live for sales. Go live for business opportunity chats. I've done this twice on my personal page. Um, just saying like, hey, you guys, like I just, I know I've never gone live for my personal page. I just wanted to chat with you guys today. Um, 
many of you don't know that, you know, I graduated nursing school back in 2011, but I stopped nursing three years ago or two years ago to start selling LuLaRoe and just tell them about you, tell them what you're doing. And you'd be like, I recently just started this something else that's amazing and I'm having so much fun with it. And I really just wanted to share it with you. Like I did that. And I think I had 10 people message me off of that and say that they wanted more information. And I was like, okay, it's time to start my considering college street group. <laughs> that was the day that I started that group because I couldn't keep up with the messages anymore. And then I did it again, like a month later, just to update people. I had like three other people message me and a, a bunch of people have joined from it. Um, go live for nail demos. I, I like the first four times that I did my nails, I went live and did it. The whole, just went live the whole time just to chat with people, to do a giveaway, get more people into your group. Um, you can go live just to chat with your kids at the playground, but there's the difference too. Your kids at the playground is more of a group live, whereas your sales, your nail demos, stuff like that, that you want to drive people to your group is more of a public thing. And that would be on your page. But if you're live, if you want to go live and show them what you're cooking for dinner, do it from your group because your group is more of your community and they're going to want that more. So I just like rushed through everything super fast. <laughs> I probably missed some stuff. But those are my best tips. I have a couple questions. Do, okay. um, when you, what's better to do a long live? I've seen people do like an hour long of makeup and I'm like, dude, first of all, who has an hour to do their makeup? And second of all, uh, how are they getting, like, I'm just surprised that people go live that long. Like, is that a good thing to do? Yeah. Um, I don't know. Mix it up. Sometimes like, like my lives for my business chats were like 10 minutes but my, some of my sales get really long and Jamie asked, do you recommend? Yes. I, you, yes. Make really? yourself even, I don't have any makeup on right now, but I always put at least mascara and lip scents on and at least like have myself somewhat done up. Okay, I would well, recommend that. Gonna, we're going to wrap it up. Um, do you, would you mind going live in team nailed it and just answering questions? Cause I know we're going to have a bunch. Yeah. Will you make me admin? Yes, I will Let's just go live and I'll approve it. Okay. All right. Thank you, Allison. This is amazing. Okay. Bye. Bye. <laughs>